who are everyday viewers um maybe this stuff is a little uh you know i'm sorry y'all the sun for people who are everyday viewers who don't under understand the other side of it everyone's not living in la la land people gotta go to work gotta get to the gym gotta get the kids to school and that's the issue sometimes. Uh, people like to uh, claim, oh, sense of community, but only when it's beneficial for them. Where's the sense of taking care of your kids, all this stuff? What I'm doing right now is called stability. That's what that is. It Working hard is always something to be proud of. And so the, the issue with this is that I'm creating a different wave because this is something that had become normalized of larger channels coming to small channels to find find content ideas. And they say the most ignorant stuff. Like, do you think anybody wakes up and just say, oh, I'm just gonna run myself in the ground today. And it just actually shows you how out of touch with reality some people really are. I'm not that girl. I am every woman. Most so the micro YouTuber is helping you to run your channel in terms of having content, but what do they get in return for that? Nothing, nothing, right? So like I said, where's the community in that? There's no community in that. That's just you using someone for, because I guess this thing is that uh, on YouTube, they start calling me that girl that girl i don't i don't but yes 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 i see it y'all you know i think a lot of stuff that goes on it, like it's just completely uh, ridiculous and um i don't think people realize how ignorant they can really be how up y'all it is um it is a uh, what is today thursday april the 28th take my glasses off y'all i put some hair i got some headbands on under here and just some um tenant sbf because i'm going to head over to the gym got to get a workout in but yes 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 i see it y'all you know I think a lot of stuff that goes on, it, like it's just completely uh, ridiculous. And um, I don't think people realize how ignorant they can really be, how ignorant they can really be, okay? I, I really don't. I had somebody else make a whole subliminal about me yesterday. I think we're, we're like, it's so many of these women who get obsessed with making subliminal videos about me and stuff. I'm gonna have to just start seeing names, okay? <laughs> Aaliyah's face, okay? So if you have 669,000 subscribers, I don't know why you would be focused on um, making a video about me. And I guess this, what this is, is some attempt to try to, I guess, to, I don't know. I don't know make me feel some type of way or like cut me down I don't know what it is why she felt it was necessary or whatever and I was in her comment section I took a screenshot I put it up on the screen but like I said once again it's completely ridiculous you know what I'm saying um because I guess this thing is that uh on YouTube they start calling me that girl that girl i don't i don't know these trends like i said i'll be having too much stuff to do i have children i got a house i got a man to spend time with you know I, i'm trying to invest back into myself with getting more education run a business all that stuff i don't have time for all these little trends and all this stuff so i guess they call me that girl and um i guess that means like uh, the person that gets stuff done you know that's up at 5 a.m and all that stuff all that stuff that's gonna get the work out in all that okay so that's cool whatever whatever so yeah yeah she made a whole video about that girl in a full of subliminals about me i don't know why she felt it was okay if that made her feel good about herself then okay but i like i said i think some of these youtubers y'all be so determined to try to do something that you think is hurting me because i'm telling the truth about how they do micro youtubers and they don't like that and it's like you're not hurting me you're not hurting me if anything you just look very ignorant because i'm not that girl i am every woman mostly every woman in america you know 
has to actually get up and go to work, has to actually take their children to school and pick them up, has to actually do laundry, has to actually go to the grocery store, has to actually get up on their off day to get to the gym if they want to get a workout in to work on their body and their health, has to actually try to eat healthy as they try to get older to avoid gaining a lot of weight. That's every woman. So I'm not that girl. I am every woman. And I'm quite sure that most of her subscribers are every woman. So it's like, what is this? What is this? You want to make fun of people for working hard? How childish is, is this? This is like a, you know, trying to make fun of somebody, a fat person for going to the gym or something. Like, who does that? Who does that? And it just actually shows you how out of touch with reality some people really are. Like you are really out of touch with reality because that is reality in America, okay? Most women have to get up and go to work. They have to pick the kids up, drop the kids off. They're trying to keep the house clean, trying to keep the laundry done, trying to get the kids to activity, trying to get the homework done. This is reality. Like you are so out of touch with reality and it's sad. It is sad. It is sad because most of these people who are supporting her are, you know, the same woman as me, the woman that's going to work, that has to work a nine to five, that is uh, trying to do their best for their children, that is, uh, you know, trying to reinvest back into their self to get some more education, that is trying to work on their health, work on their body. So, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why why this is the issue like, do like you feel intimidated because i have a work ethic is that what that is so yes yes i thought it was very ignorant and very sad and um she went on to say something about you know i guess to say something about to make it seem like i feel like you know everybody's against me and the sense of community and all this now as i said plenty of times before okay it's been several I can go on to name five, six, seven, all these other YouTubers. I, I never said anything, done anything to. Still, for some reason, all they wanted to do was do subliminal stuff, talk about me like a dog, and, um, you know what I'm saying, try to use me for their content. And so, the, the issue with this is that I'm creating a different wave because... This is something that had become normalized of larger channels coming to small channels to find find content ideas. And like I said, I don't understand what the issue is with all the other YouTubers wanting to do that on my channel because if, if, if this is really your job, how hard is it to find a content idea? How hard is it to plan your content? It really can't be that hard. If I am doing, running a business, picking, drop up, all that, it really cannot be that hard to plan content okay so it's like what what is the problem what is the problem i do not think that's unrealistic if i am um, putting out original content i'm not borrowing from other youtubers or you know following anyone else to try to get my videos to trim with them i don't think it is an unrealistic expectation for me to not expect uh other people to come over here to do that to me i don't think so as I said before, I think that is unethical to come to other people's channels to find ideas for your content because you're gaining from their work by earning your YouTube paycheck. So, yes, yes. Like I said, I think it's ridiculous. And I think a lot of these women like need to really grow up and they're y'all are not, um, you know, living in reality because that's reality for most women in America going, having to go to work, having to try to figure out when I can get to the gym, you know and uh you know being organized taking care of your kids all this stuff what i'm doing right now is called stability that's what that is it's stability as i said plenty of times before i don't care if i wake up tomorrow and i have two million subscribers i will still be going to work because when you have children as just me as a mother i cannot have my whole entire livelihood depend on whether or not somebody decide to click on my video that's me that's me i think that must be a horrible way to live to have your whole entire livelihood depend on whether or not people like you or like your channel i can't do it i can't get with it as i said before i'm giving myself permission to speak freely always so 
if you're gonna get on board cool this is channel for you if not unfriend unsubscribe click off and yes miss ma'am miss Aaliyah's face had an issue with me because uh, she uploaded a video that it was about digital digital organization and all this stuff ipad and i um and i was in the comments about it because y'all remember when i paid my dt bill and i took a screenshot and i said yeah this is how i um I take a screenshot and I put in a folder. That's how I organize all our bills. And I was like, it's best to do digital. Then she took that and went and made a video on it. Like I said, I don't understand what the problem is because if this is your job, it shouldn't be that hard to come up with your own content ideas. If you do not like me, if you do not agree, agree with my, my ideas, stop coming over here to watch me and leave it at that. Yes, yes. It's like that that's it's very ignorant that's what it is it's very ignorant i'm quite sure most of your 669,000 subscribers are everyday working women and it's it's not a good thing to tell your younger subscribers that you may have to you oh, oh it's cool just relax just relax no no you got to get up and take care of your business so like i said i'm on the way to the gym and i need to go to the grocery store today um but yeah that's 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 the rant for today because like i said I, I don't understand what the problem is i really don't you doing that it's it's not hurting me it's making you look very ignorant let me send some money over here yes i'm about to go to the gym and um i'm thinking if i want to go to the grocery store first because i don't want to go while i'm like a uh, Y'all know, like sweaty or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. About to get my, uh, about to get my gas. And that's the issue sometimes. Uh, people like to uh, claim, oh, sense of community, but only when it's beneficial for them. Where's the sense of community for the micro YouTubers when large YouTubers come to channels to find video ideas? So the micro YouTuber is helping you to run your channel in terms of having content, but what do they get in return for that? Nothing, nothing, right? So, like I said, where's the community in that? There's no community in that. That's just you using someone for to gain for to for gain. Like like I said to people who are everyday viewers, um maybe this stuff is a little uh, you know, I'm sorry y'all the sun. For people who are everyday viewers who don't under, understand the other side of it, um some youtubers after they've been doing this for a long time they get burned out and they run out of content ideas or they want to post something because they want to earn their youtube paycheck but they don't know what to post so that's the easiest thing to do to find a small channel and grab some ideas from there and just repost it but like i said before it's not uh, beneficial for a micro youtuber or people who actually sit down to think out and plan out their content so it that's what it is that that's the problem there there is no sense of community there's just you know you you're using someone that's that's all that is all right i'm at the gym y'all just taking my jacket off i'm gonna leave this in the car i gotta figure out something to uh i gotta figure out something that i want to do with my hair i don't know i don't know what i want to do with it maybe i should get some braids it's so low maintenance so yes yes i'm gonna take my glasses off and grab my water Get in here, get a couple few miles in or whatever. Just using the restroom, y'all. I always use the restroom before I get started because uh, once I start drinking my water, I know I might have to go again. So, yes, 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 y'all. Hope y'all are in touch with reality because that's that's it. That's it. Everyone's not living in La La Land. People gotta go to work. Gotta get to the gym. Gotta get the kids to school. Gotta go to the grocery store. Gotta clean the house. That's how it is. That's real life. I got my watch on, you guys. I'm just starting with a, you know, my warm up, a few miles. Working hard is always something to be proud of.
I'm at uh, 1.3 miles, y'all. I drank uh, most of my water. All right, y'all, can y'all see? Can y'all see? I just hit two miles, y'all can't see. Can y'all see? Anyways, whatever, 2.15. Like I told y'all, I worked on my arms last time, so I'm just going to, my shirt getting way too big. I'm just gonna do some core exercises today. y'all it is a uh, 12:58. so yes I'll wait for the camera to adjust so yes that was cool uh like i said i'm really out of shape but one day at a time one day at a time it is 12:58. um see that's that is the reality for working class mothers in america the school just called and i have to go get journey i told y'all yesterday i went and got her some hot cocoa before i took her to school because she had a little cough so yes the kids are fully vaccinated if y'all are new and um you know they take vitamins so i don't know what's going on i gotta go get journey and get her some medicine that is the reality so you have to get up and do what you want to do when you can do it or it'll never get done that's that's reality yes y'all i'm on the way to get journey i just cannot get over how ignorant people can be they say the most ignorant stuff like do you think anybody wakes up and just say, oh, I'm just gonna run myself in the ground today? I uh, know, no, working is not optional. Doing laundry is not optional. Cooking dinner for your children is not optional. Getting to the gym, doing something for yourself, well, if you care about your body is not optional. If you wanna vlog, editing is not optional. Like, just crazy, just crazy. All right, y'all, I got the kids. I'm just running in the store to grab a few things the sun the sun i'm just running to the grocery store to get a few things y'all i'm not probably won't even take y'all in there with me because i want to grab this stuff and get out to get home and shower and see what's going on with journey real quick <sighs> that's zoe all right y'all i just left out the, the uh kroger it's crazy it's really crazy how food is going up gas is going up how much money i spend on food and groceries that's why i have to keep working to keep up with it for the people who did not figure that out i'm working because cost of living is going up and my kids need stuff every day hello hello is that not obvious is that not all right y'all let's see i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna get home and get my groceries all to see about my child and probably edit this video before i cook my dinner but y'all go ahead on and be blessed and remember remember there's nothing wrong with working hard that's how you make progress in life all right y'all bye <laughs>